Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and I wanted to do a video showing some things I've, uh, I've been trying out here on the Legion Go with uh, COD Mobile. Uh, I like COD Mobile on the uh, iPhone and the iPad. That's obviously, a, as the name would suggest, a mobile game, and there's really no true way to play it directly natively on a Windows uh, thing or, or Steam Deck, any handheld really. Uh, you can try it. What I've come to was this uh, Game Loop emulator which I believe is an official uh, Tencent uh, program, so you won't get banned or anything for using this. I think there's another one, I don't know the name, remember the name off the top of my head, but with it, I think they said, there, it, although it ran the game better, that you could get banned for it. Now, people show it either with the touch controls, or they'll show it connected with the keyboard and mouse, from what I've researched, but you can map this so you, you can use your controller in the game so uh, if you go up here you want to bring up the key mapping here and then you go to gamepad just basically check all those but what you want to do is basically emulate this this is the setup I have um, there's an easier way to do it, which uh, it's easier to show this outside in a full screen so it's not as smeared together. So basically how you want to place your key mappings, if you were playing on a mobile device and had a Bluetooth controller connected, it basically puts you in controller mode and you don't have to do any of this. But I, I think technically controllers aren't supported, at least the one built into this says maybe you plugged in one separate. So your custom layout here is grayed out. But if you go into basic, and it's hard to do this because you basically have to like double tap and sc scroll. So it, it, the whole thing is less than ideal. But I'm picky and I like COD Mobile, so I wanted to try and find a way to make this work. I'm getting there. And then when you go to here... You go to your mini-map settings and you go to custom layout. And then this shows you, you don't want to move really much of this around. I don't even think you can. I don't think it'll save it on this uh, game, game loop version of it. So what you do then is you bring up your key bindings and then you just put all of them where you want them. So you can put you know the, the triggers for the uh, fire. Uh, I can't get um, the knife or the sprint, the, the clicking. I can't get either of those to map, even though I've tried. But you can pick your grenades. You can basically map all the uh, score streaks like that. You can make it to where you can change your weapon, jump, crouch, reload. So again, it's not perfect. And one little secret I'll let you in on is it seems like everyone that plays COD Mobile for the most part is horrible. So even though this is finicky and it's not perfect, even though you're supposed to get paired of people that play on controller, I don't think there's enough of them out there, so most of the time I still think I'm just getting paired against people that play off the screen, and they're terrible, because it's really hard to play on the screen anyway. So, I mean, you'll have no issue. Like, I, I, I don't like it as much as it is playing it on the iPhone directly, but it still comes out really nice. So to do your key mappings again, I have this in full screen. So on the Legion, if you bring up your keyboard, you have to switch it to the uh, traditional one to easily get your function key, F11, they get in and out of there. And uh, I just like it in full screen because it's easier to show you what I'm doing. So then you'll go back to the key mapping and you can see how I've lined up everything perfectly. Again, for whatever reason, you can only do this in the smaller window, I guess because it kind of brings up this additional pane around it. But I was just kind of showing you in the full screen because it's easier. And when I play, I play it in full screen. So uh, try to get it as close as you can to this, assuming it displays the same on your device. And this is, again, just to use the built-in controllers. Like if you want to play it separate with a Bluetooth or a wired, I think I don't know if you have to, have to use a wired, but either way, uh, I would rather just, why would you do that when this is the handheld and the whole points to have it all in one? So that's how I got it to where the game is at least playable with the uh, built-in controls. 
So I'm going to go ahead and start a match. Now you can see it says I have an external device connected, but then it doesn't recognize the controller. So you have to like manually map it yourself. So it's kind of weird how it's set up. One thing I like is how quickly matchmaking works on COD Mobile compared to on console. And you can see here I left all the... Uh, mappings for the keys just so you can see where they're at you can shut that off i'm not sure if i want to play through the viewfinder or how i want to but you can see how yeah you know, i can't sprint though i'm clicking i can crouch reload so again, it's not perfect, but it depends what type of lobby you get in. Because if you're just playing against people on the touch screen, even if you uh, don't have as good of a control as uh, you know, someone with an actually recognized and properly mapped controller, it's still pretty close. So you can see I'm having no issues here. Uh, one problem is the score streaks, though, because you have to bring up the cursor. So again, this is why you need to have the uh, split keyboard. So let me show you what I do. You're going to crouch. You're going to bring up the keyboard, hit control, back out. Then hit the left. Then you can mark it with your trackpad. And try it again with the uh, Predator missile here. I can tap, but I, you can see you can tap with this. But you need to direct it with the joystick. But I'm just kind of showing you how it would work. It's, it's very less than ideal. These people are bad. So I have the left joystick to the uh, purifier. I can click it so that works. I there's like an auto run or something, but sometimes like see now I'm running some, but then sometimes I won't. So that's more of, and then the game doesn't run smoothly either. Uh, I think it's just because through an emulator. Because if I run with the frame rate at ultra unlocked, it'll bounce all around. But then if I lock it at like 60, it'll just bounce all over the place. It won't run at a locked 60. So like the bottleneck isn't the device itself. It's probably just some issue with the emulator. Because I am running it in performance. I've tried 30 watts and 25. and Now on the lowest like power save mode, it is like a little choppy there. Try another. Now usually it see like the controller, like this becomes the controller, the trackpads then you have to do the control to unlock it again. Hopefully it's, it just switches off of it every so often. Look at this guy, he had like free, free range on me. We're both terrible. Bring the control back on, which you really don't need it for the Predator missile because you can just double tap like the trigger or something else. Oh boy, they're all coming at me. That'll be the MVP moment right there. If I didn't mention the grenades and everything work with the bumpers. So 
again you can see now I got to bring up the control again because it just seems like I wish you could just force it to stay on um, like the external mouse mode or whatever you'd call it Uh, the start button works too, but then you gotta, there's no button to map the actual, so you can bring it up, but then you have to touch the screen to go any further. Switch weapons too. I'm more, I'm more focused on playing than you know describing. But with that being said, that's why I'm doing so good in this one. So again, cursor is gone. Hot key to bring up the keyboard. You got to use the traditional one then you can drop it right back in so again if you were playing competitively like on a console or something you'd never get away with that but on a mobile game you can usually just crouch left click for purifier or whatever you have is the special and there it is uh, pretty proud of myself here top player that's the fun of it you know I can usually do even better with the steel series controller on uh, iOS on the iPad or iPhone but this is pretty close you know it's annoying with the keyboard to do the kill streaks um, you, you don't have the button for sprint you don't have I don't think usually pressing in for the knife even though I tried to map it there just doesn't seem to work. Give my posse and myself some. And then just naturally where those bindings fall, you can use the B for next or like when you need a double tap. So it'll, it, it's close enough to where it'll work there. But you can see look 42 and 2, that's pretty darn good. But it's not as convenient as it is using it with the proper, like on a mobile, when it does detect all that. And then you can use this to get in and out to where this is just clicking where those maps are. But I think if you know you understand key bindings and stuff, then you know what I mean. But I'll leave it there. It's definitely playable. The game is not very stable, again, because of this emulator, which is annoying. And uh, I've seen other people, not too many people, but it is possible to do this. I've, I haven't seen anyone map it, so they're not using these controls. So, I, at least for now, I think this idea that I came up with works really well. And it, it is in there. I mean, at least Game Loop does provide you with the ability to do the mapping for the touchscreen. The issue is just the inconsistency to get it. Like, now it won't even really hold a locked 30 just on the menu. I don't know what it is if I could tweak my settings more. I've tried maxing out the settings. I've tried, you know, doing basic. Then you have the game loop settings, and I've messed with them and said it's different phones and different resolutions. High res, low res, doesn't make a difference. It still won't run locked or consistent, so I think it's just some weird uh, issue of the emulator itself. But for this emulator, if you don't want to add anything else, just go ahead and try that, and you can at least use... You can at least play it, as you can see. And it is still pretty much a good bit of fun. So uh, hopefully if some people can figure out more or get this thing running a little better. But if you are into COD Mobile like, like I am, I was really happy to get this to work. And if it helps someone, then that's great. So thanks for watching. You'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.